In his third State of the State speech, Governor Cuomo emphasized the rebuilding of upstate New York through economic incentives, businesses, infrastructure, and taxes. Citing Westchester County's sky-high property taxes, the highest in the country, Cuomo cut right to the heart of the issue, blaming New York's multiple levels of local government. This is a multiple-year theme Cuomo has championed since he was Attorney General. These are towns, villages, fire district, water district, library, sewer district, one district, just to count the other districts in case you missed the district. We have a proliferation of government that is ex exceedingly expensive and costly. He then laid out a plan for local governments to consolidate and freeze spending to cut property taxes for at least two years. The idea played well with Westchester County Senator George Latimer. I'm happy with the message. I'm enthusiastic about the concept. I want to see the specifics and make sure that they apply. What are the threshold cutoffs? And all those inside baseball things that really do matter when you're talking to an individual. Does, does this affect them? Does this mm -hmm. help them? Southern Tier Assemblywoman Donna Lupardo was pleased with Cuomo's focus on early education, particularly its youngest students. We very much want to see a focus on early learning, quality daycare, that, that whole arena of, of subject area. So we're hoping in the budget discussions to, to work with him on finding ways to improve that early learning experience for, for children before they go to schools. Cuomo pushed for full-day pre-K statewide, something New York City's newly elected Mayor Bill de Blasio championed in his campaign. It's time for New York State to have universal full-day pre-K statewide. Reconstructing and aging upstate New York was also highlighted in the speech. Cuomo said over a thousand projects were in the works to the tune of $16 billion, the largest state program of its kind. We will repair and replace over 100 bridges in upstate New York with new state-of-the-art bridges that are designed to maintain uh, their structural integrity given the floods that we're dealing with. For North Country Assemblyman Ken Blankenbush, it was music to his ears. In my area, 62% of our bridges are uh, in, in need repair, and that's a high percent of the bridges that are in the North Country in the Mohawk Valley. Some of our bridges are closed. So it's, it's going to be interesting to see exactly. He's going to he talk about 100 bridges. Uh, that was encouraging to me. Hopefully we could get some of those bridges up in uh, my area repaired and, uh, you know, and, and, and usable now. However, it wasn't all cheers for the governor. Hundreds of protesters against hydraulic fracturing showed up for the State of the State speech as well. They were gated off to one area of the concourse, but chanted and shouted enough to make their voices echo throughout the corridors. As Cuomo moves into the second phase of his agenda, the state budget proposal, he reminded his fellow lawmakers that they have successfully worked together to pass three on-time budgets and maintain the public trust. We come into the chamber, we're not Democrats, we're not Republicans, we're New Yorkers and we're working for New York and that is working. And we have accomplished great things. And I want to see us do even more together. And I believe the more trust we have from the public, the more we can do. Governor Cuomo lays out his 2014-2015 budget proposal on January 21st.